What's going on everyone? So today I'm gonna to be doing a little bit different uh, of a video than I normally do um, because this is sort of a precursor for what is coming up for the RAM. Now, whenever you add uh, modifications or you change stuff on your RAM or Jeep, um, usually you end up with error codes or bulb out indicators. So if you put LED bulbs in the tail lights or HIDs or LED fog lights or something like that, you end up getting a CAN bus uh, error message and it'll say that the bulb is out. Now that's great if you stay with all the factory things, but as soon as you start modifying stuff, um, it causes issues because then you have to try to trick the CAN bus system into thinking that you have the proper stuff installed when you don't. So to do that, you either have to go to the dealer and try to get them to flash different uh, codes to the truck for you, or you have to do, you know, install resistors, um, which is a really poor method of defeating the CAN bus uh, system. It does usually work, um, but there's still some trucks that are really picky. Um, but today I have some really exciting news. There's now software um, that you can uh, download and you can use that to change the truck software yourself. Now this is the same kind of stuff that the dealer has, um, but you'll be able to do it. Now to do that, you need two different things. First, you need an OBD2 plug uh, reader. This is the OBD Link MX Plus. Um, I'll have links down in the bottom here. This works with both Android and iOS, um, but you're gonna need one of these. There are cheaper readers. Some people have luck with them, some people don't. Um, I'd rather right off the bat just buy one that I know works. Um, so it's about 70 or 80 bucks on Amazon. Again, links are down here below. And then the next thing you're gonna need is a tablet and you'll need the OBD or the Alpha OBD software. Now with that, it's an app that you download through Google Play or through Amazon, same thing, I'll have the link down here below. Um, so you set that up on an Android tablet. Um, now one important thing is the software for, uh, for the tablet does not work on iOS. So if you are an Apple user, you're gonna have to find somebody who has a, an Android tablet that you can borrow or pick up a cheap one for like 50 or 60 bucks. Um, your choice of course, but the Alpha OBD software that allows you to access the truck is only on Android. Now for the software itself, it's insanely cool. You can change tons of things. You can adjust your own tire pressures, the TPMS, um, add LEDs, HIDs, tail lights, um, interior features. If you buy heated or cooled seats, you can install them and activate it yourself um, through this software. So th the possibilities here are just about endless. Um, it really allows you to change everything um, on your own. Now you can change most things without visiting the dealer, um, but if you wanna change the TPMS um, settings, so you wanna change it from 50 down to 30 or something like that, or program keys, um, or a few other things, you will need to get a pin from your dealer. Um, it's pretty easy and it's supposed to be free. Um, you go to the dealer, you bring registration for your truck um, and your driver's license that matches that. And assume, uh, assuming they can identify or prove that you are the owner, they can give you a pin. Now it's a four digit pin. Um, there's also another pin, it's a five digit one and it's a rolling one. So don't get that, you don't need that. Um, you want the four digit pin uh, for your vehicle and they'll give you a little printout. Once you have that, you can take out all of your resistors. I took out like 12 resistors that I had running for HID, uh, high beams, low beams, my LED fog lights, it was ridiculous. Blinkers, I had resistors all over. Um, but using this software, I was able to go in and tell the truck, hey, I've got LED um, running lights. I've got LED uh, high beams. I got HID uh, low beams and everything works just how it's supposed to. Um, it's as if the dealer is doing it for you and there's no need to deal with BS resistors uh, and trying to trick your truck or any of that business. Um, it's also better than some of the other uh, options out there that you buy uh, to allow you to change your TPMS um, because those are about 160 to 200 bucks. Um, and just to buy that alone, um, you can only change a few things, but with this software and the OBD2 plug, um, connector, but you can change everything on the truck. Uh, so it's a really, really cool option if you've got a truck and you wanna add factory options or change out bulbs, uh, change your tire pressures, uh, change how big your tires are to fix uh, the speedometer issues. Um, so tons of tons of options. Of course, make sure you subscribe to the channel. I have a lot of alpha OBD uh, information coming out as far as how to actually change things. So you'll see uh, on your screen how to actually change um, individual parameters for the truck. Um, so subscribe, of course. And if you have any questions or comments, go ahead, go ahead and put those down below and uh, I'll do my best to help out with those.